Hi, I'm here to talk about a book called Great Communication Secrets of Great Leaders by John Baldoni. Uh, in his book, he examines and explains some best practices used by academic, business, military, political, religious, social, and sports leaders. Um, he sets up a problem that some of these leaders faced and then uses their real life examples of how at least one of them overcame it. Um, the book is kind of broken up into three main sections. First, developing the message, knowing your audience, the situation, and your content. Second, delivering the message, know how to deliver your message so that the audience will receive it. And third, sustaining the message, keeping it uh, fresh and meaningful and relevant to your audience. Baldoni wrote that any conversation or presentation could be boiled down to one core message, one sentence. And as leaders, we need to be aware of what that message is, that core takeaway, before we begin to construct any sort of presentation. And that whatever we put in that presentation should always lead back to that core idea, that core takeaway. While not one of the leaders that Baldoni used life examples of, Baldoni did praise Steve Jobs for engaging audiences by appealing to their emotions. Um, on pages 130 and 131, Baldoni goes through a whole list of ways to engage audiences, from creating a dialogue to physical interaction, whatever it takes to stop the audience from just sitting, and listening, and zoning out. Baldoni said that the best presentations, the best messages, go beyond just words and get the audience involved in the message. Another notable section was on building or even repairing credibility. Baldoni says it pretty much just comes down to telling the truth, but there are three things that fall into that. First, not overpromising. Second, doing what you say you'll do. And third, not hiding the bad news. Baldoni says you can feel free to tell the facts and tell your opinion, you just need to make the difference between the two clear. There's some great takeaways in the real life examples that Baldoni uses as well. On page 40, there are some takeaways from the life and career of Catherine Graham, the owner of the Washington Post during Vietnam and the Watergate scandal. Uh, one of the takeaways is live your message. Graham lived, breathed, and fought for the paper and the journalistic ideals it stood for. And like I mentioned earlier, be honest. Let people know how you feel about the issues. Another example that Baldoni used was General George C. Marshall, who was the chief of staff during World War II. Everything he did, he couldn't do by himself. He went out of his way to find the right people for any given job, and the right job for any given person. That means he had to listen to and get to know the people under his command. On page 142, Baldoni lists a couple of additional leadership lessons from the life of General Marshall. First, know your limits. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Additionally, be seen as a leader. Let people know you're in charge. This could be a book review without some words of wisdom from LeVar Burton, so... Here's some other books that you might like, but you don't have to take my word for it.